Hi, I'm Maddie Casto. Thank you so much for calling me back for 26 Pebbles and for calling me back for Actor One. I'll be doing four different monologues today. The first as Actor One, then Jen, Joni, and Carla. Thank you so much for your time and consideration and for taking the time to watch this video. It's crazy to me that we're still on the map. Six months later, and we're still on this national map. Everybody now knows where Newtown is. Communities like ours don't just form themselves. A true sense of community comes from strangers wanting to come together and know one another for the greater good of their neighborhood, which I think we need now more than anything. Don't you think, um, Eric, is it? Do you see how easy and painless that was? Now it's your turn. Turn to your neighbor, turn to your neighbor, check out their name tag, and say hi. Hi. And now we have a community. Well, you know what? Of course I'm... I'm angry. I'm angry especially at his mother and his father and his brother because obviously there's a lot more going on than just in terms of his upbringing and... the lack of care he probably received as a child and all that. And I also blame her friends because did nobody see that this woman wasn't all together? Did nobody say anything? And what about her ex-husband? Did he not go to the house and see these guns? It's quaint, exactly what you would expect from a beautiful, small New England town. And it's a really, it's a really special time of year. On the 13th, there was a, a meteor shower and Sarah and I, um, one of my two daughters, uh, we were standing outside and we saw seven shooting stars because it is so dark here and so clear here that you can see everything. And after we went inside and Sarah went to bed, I went outside and I made a wish that both of my daughters would always be happy and safe. My cell phone rang and I picked it up. I recognized it as the school. They have this like um, automated call thing when there's school closings or delays or when something happens. And it was our superintendent. And all she said was, all Newton public schools are in lockdown due to a shooting. Click. And that was it. I don't know if you believe in any of this stuff, but you seem like a pretty open-minded person. So, um, I heard from one of the kids that died, Jesse Lewis. I told a friend of mine and he was like, you gotta talk to Scarlett. You gotta talk to Scarlett Lewis. And so I asked him to ask her if I could do a free healing on her because I didn't want to be like, I just heard from your son, you know? And so we got closer and I channeled her son for her. If if I wasn't able to communicate with Jesse, you know what I mean. I think, um, I don't, I think I'd be a bit of a mess. 
I think the way I felt from Jesse's side was he's very strong and he actually told he and his mom both knew he wasn't gonna live very long and before he died um, I can show inside I'll show inside uh, he drew on his chalkboard three words healing nurturing and love he drew this on his chalkboard and he's like six years old you know and, and when I connect with him he's very strong and he feels like a general and and he like saved 10 kids lives during the shooting when the gun jammed he was like go 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 the gun jammed he's six years old and he got these kids running and they're all in shock and if he hadn't said that they'd just all be standing there and there'd be 10 more bodies and and I think at this point he was already shot and he's just he's so strong and he's so brave and he's so amazing and maybe maybe I need that you know maybe I need that to keep the faith 